Here at Hammerhead, the voice of the customer is extremely important in us improving processes and procedures that we offer in the field. And with our blue light system, customers have been coming back to us and asking us, how do we deploy a lighthead long distances without kinking up our, our hose rail? And today we're going to show you that technique and process. One of the key components necessary to deploy the blue light head is a metal swivel. Secure the metal swivel to the cal tube by using slip knots as shown here. Load your calibration tube with the swivel into your quick lock drum. Cuff the calibration tube and secure it to the nozzle. Once the inversion has started, monitor progress by using the blue light camera. As a swivel passes the camera and arrives in the nozzle, stop the inversion process. Remove the nozzle to expose the light head and swivel. Another key component to the deployment method is the release cord. Attach the release cord immediately below the base of the light head by using a slip knot. Attach appropriate size slit star below the base of the light head using a zip tie. Cut off the tail of the zip tie. Attach appropriate size star to the nose of the light head. While handling the light head, use gloves to reduce contamination of the light head surface. Using a rubber band, secure the release cord. Finally, secure release cord to the swivel. When completed, the release cord assembly should appear as shown. Slightly pull back the light head and reattach the nozzle. Repressurize the inversion drum and complete the inversion of the calibration tube and deployment of the light head. Control and monitor deployment of the light head. Once deployed, shift drum air pressure to the light head. Activating the light head severs the connection to the release cord. Blue light curing process can now begin. If you follow the simple steps that the team showed you today, you can effectively deploy your blue light head without pushing it at all.